I ate dinner and I got my footage imported to be up to date for Vlogmas and did a little bit of editing, not much though. For some reason, Duncan has decided to act up today. He has nearly been in the tree, but I stopped him. He's been on the TV at least once, and he's been up on the top of the cabinets just now. I don't understand it. I've been home giving him attention all day. I know I haven't shown it on camera, but I play with him, and he gets bored of it and doesn't want any of his toys, and is just acting out, and I don't know what he wants or what to do. I know he wants attention, but I'm giving him attention, and it doesn't seem to make a difference. He's still acting out, so don't know what that's about, but I hope he cuts it out soon. And it's 8 o'clock, so now I'm going to go get into pajamas, do a face mask, and relax, and watch Godmothered on Disney+. Plus. I don't think it's really a Christmas movie, but it has Isla Fisher and seems like something I would like. So, I'm going to watch that with my face mask on. The face mask I'm using tonight is from Soap and Glory. And it's a radiance boosting mask with vitamin C because I figured dull, well it says for dull, low, dull, la, why can I not speak? It's for dull, lackluster skin, which in the winter my skin always feels a bit more dull than usual. So I'm going to give that a shot. I also have some eye masks, but I might save those for the morning. And possibly put them in the fridge and see what that does. I don't know. But I can't do both at the same time. So I might just do a face mask and do the eye masks in the morning. We will see. We all know how this bit goes. This is not your usual fairy tale. Fairy tales end with happily ever after. And that's where we begin. I enjoyed Godmothered. I wasn't quite sure what to expect going into it, but I found it entertaining and I enjoyed it. But now it is time to get some rest, so I will see you tomorrow. Okay, it's time for my first cup of coffee in the new machine. Time for the first taste, and I can already tell, without even drinking it, that it brews hotter than my Keurig because the spoon was hotter than normal and my cup feels hotter than normal because normally I could pick it up no problem. Now it's kind of hot to touch, so hopefully I don't burn my mouth. Tastes good, definitely tastes different than my Keurig with the same coffee that I was using. I can't explain how exactly, but I don't know if richer is the right word, but it tastes different and it's hotter, and I think I'm going to really like having it, especially once I figure out how to make lattes and macchiatos and all that fun stuff. But we'll just stick with plain coffee for now. That works well too. I'm going to do the calendars tonight because I need to go and clean off my car so I need to leave myself time to do that. I'm probably going to the grocery store tonight because I want to get it done before the big rush next week to get my Christmas food goodies and things like that. don't really want to go but I'd rather just get it done. Hopefully it'll be less hectic than it will be next week. But I did want to show you today is ugly sweater work, ugly sweater, work, ugly sweater day at work. And while I'm in a different building than most people, so not really anyone's going to see it, it's fun for me. So I've gone with a light up Mickey sweatshirt because this is one of the lovely 
get-ups my mom got me and it's comfy and warm so that's my ugly sweater look I'm off to shovel snow off my car head to work hopefully it'll be warm at work and I'll talk to you later I'm home and I got my grocery shopping done so I've got basically everything I need for next week there's just one thing I missed that I thought I had but I didn't have so I'll have to get that at some point next week but after shopping and then getting settled in, trying to get stuff a little bit organized, put away, it's eight o'clock. So I was originally going to do a workout tonight, but if I did that, I wouldn't have time for anything else. And I still have enough days to get in my last two days of the MK Fit workout for this week. So I'll be doing one tomorrow morning, but not gonna happen tonight, but I'm gonna do the calendars find some dinner and I really want to get the next vlog uploaded so that's the plan let's see what we got since Duncan's meowing we'll see what he got something different today and rather interesting and possibly dangerous if it comes unraveled I don't know but we will see and don't mind the mess I have a lot of boxes I need to take out Duncan enjoys them though We have a hit. He's never had one like that before. It's another lip balm today. This one is winter snow. It smells citrus, so that might be nice. For the body shop, it's another bath bubble. This one is pink grapefruit. So Lots of nice bath bubbles for when I have time to take baths. I really haven't taken any. I've taken one since I've lived here. And I think it was in a vlog. And I can't believe I've gone through almost all of December and not taken one, but hopefully I'll fit one in soon. I just have to share. It's been at least 10 minutes, if not longer. And he's still playing with that ball. And it's taking it everywhere with him and it has not stopped. seen him like this. Trying out the Zevia, the Dr. Zevia, which is the like the Dr. Pepper I talked about in my grocery haul vlog. I'm not sure about it. It's not awful. But it's definitely not Dr. Pepper or even close to it. It kind of has a not wonderful aftertaste. But I've also only had a few sips, so... I'll have to get back to you, but so far, I'm not too sure. Posted the next vlog, but now it's very late, and I need sleep. See you tomorrow. Good morning. I've just completed my workout. Today was Hannah Montana versus Miley Cyrus, so that was fun. Now I'm going to do the calendars before I get changed. This is cute. Duncan got some... I think it's Holly. I'm never really good at identifying. It's either Holly or Mistletoe, but I'm thinking Holly. I don't know. Then again, it could be Mistletoe. Who knows? But he's got this today. He's in his house, but he's looking at me. So let's, or not his house, his tower. So let's see what he thinks. Another new toy, bud. What do you think of it? What do you think of it? Do you like it? Oops, completely unfazed. Just gonna take a nap with it, why not? 
He is a professional napper after all. Today for the body shop is the banana conditioner. Now I have the complete set of the shampoo and conditioner because I got the shampoo earlier in the month as you saw. So that'll be a new set of shampoo and conditioner to try out at some point. Okay, I have to hit the road. I'm heading to my friend's house. We're gonna watch some Christmas Hallmark movies and have a fun day. So I had to wear a fun festive Christmas top, but I'm running a little late, so I will talk to you tonight. I'm home. It was a good day. We watched three Hallmark Christmas movies. One with Candace Cameron Bure, one with Lacey Shippert. I, Shippert. I don't know how to say that. And one with Danica Keller. And they were all good and entertaining. However, I don't know if it's because I was so comfy cozy, I got very sleepy. And I'm still feeling a bit sleepy but I need to make myself some dinner. I'm gonna make some tacos tonight. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna have much energy for much else. I was gonna to try to do the next vlog. If I get the energy, I will, but I also have to shower tonight. So I think it could potentially be an early night because it's about seven, but I'm already pretty wiped. So we shall see. But now, time to make some tacos. Do you ever feel so tired that you don't feel like you even have the energy to shower? Because that's how I feel right now. And I contemplated, oh, just doing it in the morning and just relaxing tonight. But I have things I want to get accomplished in the morning and I usually have more energy in the morning and that would just kind of delay some of the things I want to get accomplished. So, I'm going to push myself to do it, even though I don't want to, because I really don't have any energy. And I know once it, I'm in there, it'll be fine. It's just all the after of drying the hair and all that. It just feels like it takes so much effort right now. But I have to. I have to push myself to do it because I don't want to do it tomorrow. It's still reasonably early, it's just after 8, so I can do it. I did it. I'm all clean. And it feels good. And now that's one less thing to do tomorrow. But now, as you can tell, I'm in bed. But I'm going to maybe watch a little YouTube on my iPad, then read my book and call it an early night so I can get some good sleep. See you in the morning. Good morning. I feel much more rested. I had a good night's sleep for the first time in a long time. I got a green star from Fitbit, which means I met my goal and did well with sleeping, plus a good instead of a fair. So that's all good news. And I just opened my gifts from my friend that I saw yesterday. Now this particular friend I have been friends with since the 8th grade, since middle school, which I know is very rare and I'm very appreciative of that friendship. I don't know why I'm getting emotional, I did not expect that to happen, but I just, I don't have a whole lot of friends. I wasn't expecting that, but I don't have a lot of friends, but those few friends that I do have I consider really good friends but especially this one because we've stood the test of time we just get each other and I just I just really appreciate her and we also have birthdays three days apart so it was a belated she gave me a belated birthday gift and a Christmas gift which I wasn't expecting that was very very kind and I just wanted to share it with you because I thought it was very nice. So I just kind of put everything together for the birthday and Christmas, but I didn't even know Yankee Candle made these. It's a little accessory for your car, almost like a charm bracelet, but you put an air freshener in it 
and then it has charms you can put on it so that's fun and neat that'll be really neat and pretty to have in my car and then we both share a love of coffee and we both like big coffee mugs for our coffee so she found me the perfect Christmas mug because I don't have a lot of Christmas mugs and this one's nice and big and it's gonna be great to use throughout the season then she gave me something I didn't she didn't even know I wanted and that is a letter board I noticed she has one at her house and I've noticed people on YouTube use them here and there and I've always thought oh that'd be kind of neat to have but I never really knew where to buy them or anything like that and now she's given me one so I'll be able to have it as a decorative thing in my house but I'll also be able to use it in the background of videos if I want to put little quotes or sayings or Disney things or whatever. So that's going to be really nice. Of course, it will be even easier once I get my guest slash filming room done. But that's going to be a winter after Christmas project. That's going to be a January, February when I'm in the doldrums of winter project to work on plus if I can get any furniture for it so there you go but I'm in the process of filling Duncan's fountain so I'm going to finish that so he can drink and then we'll do the calendars hold it I forgot something she also got me these perfect absolutely perfect magnets life is better with a cat and I have to admit a spoiled cat does live here he is spoiled but that's okay because he loves me my plans have changed once again. I was supposed to go to my other friends today to take care of some things, but that's not going to happen. So hopefully tomorrow night it will happen. But that will be, well, that'll just mean I can get more stuff done around here. I was planning not to record my video because I didn't think I'd have time before having to go there, but now I should be able to record that and get some other things done as long as I stay on task. But now calendars, then workout, then I'll see what's after that. So number 10 for this one today. And it's another little travel nail file that says let it snow and is pink. So I won't be needing any nail files for quite some time. Unfortunately, it's another one of these things for Duncan. I wish they'd give him more balls like he got the other day that he loved, but out of these ones. Let's see where day 20, oh there's day 20, looks like a little one. Today's item is a lip butter and this one is coconut so I do think I will like this one. I'm ready for the week and I've cleaned and organized and opened a package from my mom and put all the presents she sent me under the tree. Haven't attempted this before with Duncan so We'll see how he does. It's now two o'clock. I'm gonna have a late lunch. And then I originally planned to do that video today, but once again, time got away from me after doing all of that stuff. So I don't know if I'm gonna have time, and I mean, I could try to rush it, but then I don't enjoy it, because I try to give myself about an hour to get ready, about a half hour to set up, and if it's an hour to do the video, that's, 4.30, which is when we play trivia, so it would be a bit rushed. So I think I've decided that I will do it another day. Don't know when, but I'll have to fit it in at some point in the next couple weeks. So instead, I will eat, do my nails, and then whatever time is left, I will edit as much as possible before it's time for trivia. Because I think that will just be better use of my time less stress and I'm gonna have to just find a day where I get up and get ready for the video first thing in the morning and don't get caught up in other stuff so possibly record two in one day because I still have my book video to do too so that might have to be the plan but now I'm hungry time for some food today just snuck on to plan I did get my nails done I did silver and gold I've been feeling the silvers and golds lately I didn't even get any editing done because everything got delayed because Duncan gave me a scare because 
shortly after I talked to, he was just laying in his carrier, acting perfectly fine, napping, when all of a sudden he started having like a gag reflex and I thought he was going to throw up, but he did not throw up. And then came out, did a little stretching, it happened again. And I was like, that's not normal, that makes me nervous. So I called the vet. And they said, okay, well, monitor him, and if he goes into respiratory distress, then take him to the pet emergency room. I was like, great, okay. So I've been watching him, keeping my eye on him while I've been a nervous wreck, and he is crying for his dinner now. Seems okay, but I'm still a little nervous and hoping that he's fine. But then he played for a bit, so he must have felt fine if he was playing. So let's hope that he continues to be okay throughout the night. Right now he's just hungry. Show everybody that you're okay. Where'd you go? Show everybody you're okay. Yeah, he's okay. Which of these things happened in 1983? In 1983, 90% of the U.S. media was controlled by 50 companies. How many companies control the U.S. media today? A, four, B, six, C, 10, or D, 20? The next vlog is rendering. So while that's going, I'm gonna watch on Netflix, Christmas on the Square. It's a Dolly Parton movie, which I think is a musical. So I'm gonna watch that, but if it's not done close to 10, I might finish it in the morning because I want to be in bed at 10 and read and unwind kind of like I did last night so that I can get another good night's sleep hopefully. The movie's interesting. I wasn't quite sure what to expect going into it. It reminds me a little of A Christmas Carol and has some Wizard of Oz references and there's something else that had reminded me of too but I can't remember now. But I didn't finish it. I'll finish it in the morning because it's 10 now. So I'm going to go and relax in bed reading for a bit and get some sleep. And I'll see you tomorrow.